Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Nurse Catherine here. In today's video, I will be comparing three shoes made by three different companies who make shoes just for medical professionals. I am not affiliated with any of these companies and am not being paid for this video. I have tried out all three of these shoes and at the end of this video, I will be telling you what I recommend. But before we get into this video, please like this video, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. But other than that, let's get this video started. So to start this video off, we are going to start from the most expensive to the least expensive. So that will start us off with the Dansko Clog 2.0. This clog is the XP 2.0. It is slip resistant on dry, wet, and oily surfaces. It has a really great fabric on the outside that you can wipe off after every single shift, which I do appreciate about how they have made this shoe. This clog is $150, but unfortunately, I was only able to wear these for two shifts. They hurt my feet that bad and my feet were swollen after the two shifts that I wore them that I could no longer stand wearing these dance goes. I know people who have great experiences with dance goes, but I unfortunately was not one of them. They do seem to be very durable and they seem to be made very well. But like I said, my feet just could not handle the dance goes and became swollen and bruised after two shifts. Lastly, with the dance go clogs, I wear a size 30 eight in the dance go clogs and normally for my sneaker size i am a size eight so i would say they are very true to fit the next shoe that we will be talking about is the bala 12s this is the defy pink color i do have the shade color which is a gray color these come in at 130 dollars these also have a material that can be wiped off at the end of the shift. They also are slip resistant. And if you can hear, they are not your typical sneaker material. These do tie at the top and have a clasp over top of the shoelace to help prevent your shoe from coming untied, which I really do appreciate about the design of the Bala 12s. And I also think these are just really cute shoes, especially this Defy pink color. What I also liked about the Bala 12s is the insole. I know it looks very thin on here, but as you can see, it does have that little piece of Arch M brace, it says on the insole. And these are washable. You can actually stick your Bala 12s, the entire shoe, in the washing machine up to 40 washes and it will be just fine up to 40 washes they do not recommend putting it in the dryer because it will get rid of that water resistant covering on the outside but you can put them in the washer which i thought was really really cool Something else that is very unique to the Bala 12s is this inner layer right here. Now I have heard from other nurses, it is a little bit hard to put this sneaker on. And I think that might be because of this inner layer right here. It might be a little hard to slip your foot in there. I think it also depends on what type of sock you are wearing. I wear no-show socks with all of my shoes, as you can see in all of these videos of me putting these shoes on. But I never had an issue slipping my feet into these, but I have heard other nurses have that issue. The insoles on these, like I said, are very comfortable. I have not had to buy Dr. Scholl's insoles for these shoes. So I'm very thankful about that because those can be pretty expensive as well. And I would love the shoe 
to already have a good insole if I'm going to be spending $130 on it. And lastly, one downfall that I have found with the Bala 12s is that my shade pair, the grade pair that I have, have started to squeak a little bit over time after wearing them so much. So I have not had that issue yet with the Defy Pink, but my shade ones have started making a little bit of a squeaking noise on the sole. And finally, our last shoe I will be talking about is the Women's Pink Up Clove Shoe, which runs at $129, so $1 shy of what the Bala comes in at. These also are very easy to clean and they are fluid resistant. I wore these for one month and had okay results with them. I wasn't a fan of the insole. The insole was a little bit floppy for me and had no arch support. So if I were to keep wearing these, I would put a different insole in them. These also have a very slip resistant bottom, which I appreciate from this company that they did follow that for medical professionals as we all need that slip resistant bottom. I do like the fact that you don't have to tie these shoes. You have this little, you can call it a zipper-like thing here. Um, but if you tighten it too much, it actually will give you a really long pigtail and I'm just not quite sure what to do with those two pieces as they kind of flop around. I guess you could tuck them in but I just don't like how that feels against my skin. Like I said, I did wear these for one month and I have done a review video on clothes specifically. So if you want to see that, you can hit the little link up above. But I will say one thing I did not like about the clothes shoe is how it became creased just after one month. So I'm curious to see what that would look like after one year of wearing the shoe. But yes, it became very creased and it didn't seem like it was made too well. I personally did not like wearing these clothes, but I have heard other people who love wearing clove shoes. My foot just doesn't fit well with this one, but I have heard other people that really do like wearing the clove shoes. So all in all, I recommend Bala's out of these three. Now there are other nursing shoe companies out there. I just have not tried them yet. If you have a pair of medical professional specific shoes that have been made for medical professionals, comment them below. I would love to give them a try and let you guys know what I think about those. But these are the three that I have tried so far that are made just for medical professionals. If you all have any other questions about these shoes, please comment that below. Again, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell and give this video a big thumbs up. Again, thank you for tuning in. Have a great weekend and I will see you in next week's educational video.